Hey, welcome to this new series. I'm going to continue on the course you see right here. It's available on uh, YouTube. You can just go and grab it if you want to. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to, part one was kind of just playing around with Angular 2 and just setting up a lot of tools like WebStorm and Angular CLI and on Windows and on Mac and just playing around with Material Design, Hammer.js, a lot of the tools that you need to, in my mind, build an uh, application with ease. Flex layout. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff. So what I did now is I made kind of um, a small starter project that you guys can use now to actually work on top of this uh, video series you made, you made right here. Now the goal of this series that we're going to build now is actually putting in some real data. So we're going to continue building this course planner application. And what I want to do is I want to start working directly with a Firebase, uh, which is a REST API in the cloud that Google creates for us. So we can start really getting some real data in here and yeah, I'm making some real stuff that will work for us. So that's the goal of the next lessons in this new series. And this series, I just want to give you guys kind of an introduction to what we're going to do. Uh, just very briefly, I'm going to uh, make real user login. So right now, if I sign out, I go to the login page. Now, all of this is from the last video series. Um, so we're going to make a real login like this that's going to actually log into, yes, Firebase, so we have a real login system. We're going to start out by grabbing users from the Firebase and then we're going to build things like a profile for the user page with images. We're going to build a, a education with courses, with sessions, with assignments, with uh, videos, literature, whatever we can figure out, whatever we can come up with to kind of cover a lot of things in building a real course plan, a real live application. We're going to deploy it on all in this series on Firebase and we're going to use Firebase as the database and the file storage as well. So it's going to be, all the data is going to be stored on Firebase uh, and even the application is going to run on Firebase when we are done with this series. So I, let's see how far we can get with this series. I'm going to try and get as far as I can and then I might let you guys go and you can continue on your own, but uh, we're going to try and see how far we can get. So that's all for the introduction. I'm going to start out next time by explaining how you can get the date, the start code, to get them running real quickly with the one you're seeing right here I just showed you so you have the same code as me and then how we can prepare for making your actual own project uh, out of this code. See you next time, have fun.